Let's pickle some cauliflower. Okay, pickled cauliflower is one of my favorite things. I actually like raw cauliflower, many people don't. But if you like raw cauliflower for the crunch and all that, pickled cauliflower is actually a great way to use it and you can put it on salads or whatever. So what do we need to do to get started? Well, first you need to prep your cauliflower as Brian has done here. I have a whole head of cauliflower. It's a pretty decent size, medium, and I just cut it into, you know, florets of varying sizes. And that's kind of an important thing. I'll get to that in a little while. You don't want them huge though. Like this one here, that's eh, bordering on too big. If they're a little bit too big, you can just do that. As you can see here, Brian has already very carefully crammed some cauliflower into that mason jar. Just to save some time. So, how do we get started? We're going to start by adding some ingredients to a pot that we're then going to heat. We're this gonna... is our brine. Yeah. So we're starting off with two cups of distilled white vinegar. I have a pot here, non-reactive preferably, and I turn the heat up to five. Ours goes to five and I'm putting in the vinegar. What we have to do is make a brine and that requires vinegar, salt, sugar, and water. So a tip when cooking with vinegar, Please don't put your face directly over the pot. Oh yeah, the fumes. The fumes Bad. become a thing. Two cups of water. One fourth cup of sugar. I don't have a quarter cup measure on me, so I'm still gonna use tablespoons. As we all know, there's 16 tablespoons in a cup, so that means four tablespoons in a quarter cup. You knew that, right? It's important for this recipe that you use white sugar yeah, and brown not sugar brown be sugar because it's going to give it a really weird flavor. That was three, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. And I've cut the sugar in half for this recipe because I'm trying to use less white sugar if possible. And um, I just felt that in our other pickle recipe, maybe there was a little bit more sugar than we really needed. So we're going to go with a little bit less this time. All right, so the next ingredient is salt, and we're gonna do two tablespoons of salt. This, I kept the same amount of salt because the salt helps, well, it helps for flavor, but it also, whoops. Okay, that was like one and a quarter already. The salt helps keep the uh, cauliflower a little bit on the crunchy side too. So we wanna make sure for that. And it also helps with preservation. One tablespoon peppercorns. These are just straight up black peppercorns, telecherry, they call them. Um, try not to use ground spices when you're making pickles. They don't work as well. They tend to over extract and they can get bitter. Plus they tend to float around and make a mess. They and I'm really mess. sorry they that you can hear all that. stick to your veg. And... Oh wait, we don't put these right in there. I have a, I have a trick for oh, this. Oh, a trick, okay. All right, all well right. we can start on that. While this is heating up, we'll start on the trick. So I'm gonna take my tablespoon of black peppercorns and put half in one jar and half in the other jar. That's exactly half now. You can tell this is a very scientific <laughs> thing. Alrighty, we're gonna do the same thing with mustard seeds. So a tablespoon or half a tablespoon in each jar. Right, so you're probably wondering, well, you're putting it in that one that already has cauliflower and that one that doesn't. Yes, I'm proving a point. You can do it either way, it really doesn't matter because they're gonna extract no matter what. But I gotta take the lid off to get to this one. So half in each, right? Yep. I'll just eyeball half. Usually when I make these, I eyeball all of it, so. Same thing with coriander. Okay, now the exact spices you use can be changed up if you want to. You can add some uh, pepper flake to this if you wanted it a little bit spicy. I'm trying to not go spicy this time. I wanted to just use slightly different spices. You can add clove to it if you really want to. I didn't think that clove went with this particular recipe, but hey, if you like it, knock yourself out. We're gonna have to get more coriander. So that's the cheater way to do it. You can also put the spices right into the brine, but then you have to scoop them out anyway. So I like to just split them up into the mason jars. It makes it easier to get exactly the half amount of each spice. If you have like three extra peppercorns in one versus the other, it's not gonna make that much difference. But if me. they're all in the solution, it's right. gonna be really difficult to divide them. Now what we're doing is we're trying to get this to come to a boil. Notice I have not even mixed it. I have a spoon here just in case I need to, but I normally don't even need to. But what I wanna do now is start packing the cauliflower in this jar. And what I'm doing is basically dropping them in. This is a small mouth jar. So you want the pieces to be able to fit in there. And I'm just trying to kind of Tetris them together. Yeah, you're playing cauliflower Tetris. Yeah, you're totally playing cauliflower Tetris. <laughs> 
and eventually we'll start packing down the sides. Like I'm putting this one in short way and down the side. And you know, it takes a little bit of practice and it doesn't, it's not critical, but essentially you want to pack them in as much as you can. So you get as much product as you can, but also so that they don't float once the uh, liquid is added. So I'll just continue packing this and be with you momentarily. I know what you're thinking. There's no way that all that cauliflower fit into this mason jar and you'd be right. This piece didn't fit. <laughs> By the way, something we didn't talk about, preparation of your jars. These were just washed, okay? Just washed with soap and water, let them air dry. We have plastic lids. These are not a preserved pickle. This is a refrigerator pickle, which means they must be kept in the refrigerator, okay? They will spoil, I'll tell you right now. There is ways that you can can them and all that kind of stuff. We're not getting into that for this video. This is just a super simple thing. I'm just gonna shake this up so that they fall in a little bit. Some of them float, you know? Okay. So when you're doing refrigerator pickles like this, particularly in a vinegar-based solution, which is typically what you use for doing pickles, it's a good idea to use the plastic caps rather than the metal caps because they're non-reactive. Reactive. So at this point, all we're doing is we're waiting for the liquid to come to a boil. Now, there's a couple of reasons you want it to come to a boil. A, it melts everything that's in there, and B, it sterilizes it. So once that gets in here, this is all sterile. Now that doesn't mean preserved, it just means it's sterile. So when you put this in the fridge, they should last for a couple of weeks. One of the reasons why we really enjoy pickling vegetables such as this is that it just really boosts the flavor. And you, depending on the different combinations of spices you use, you could have the same vegetable spiced many different ways and have a completely different end product. And they make fantastic snacks, particularly if you're trying to count your calories. Oh yeah, because these are just vegetables. With I mean, you gotta be careful. There's a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, but not all of that gets absorbed into the vegetable itself. So it's not as crazy as it could be. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna have less salt and less sugar than store-bought pickles. So eh, it's something to keep in mind. And you can play with the amounts of salt and sugar. Because again, these aren't preserved. So hey, you know, you wanna, leave it out completely, you can. We've actually done a video on pickles with just vinegar, which they're a little strong, I'll be honest. It's an acquired taste, but it can totally be done. Okay, so our liquid is now boiling. I'm gonna take it off the heat and start pouring it into the jars. Now, if your jars are true mason jars, they can handle this kind of heat, no problem. I have a cloth back here. This is our burn guard, just so that we don't burn ourselves in case I spill. You can use a funnel if you want to. I find that it's just as easy to pour it. And I'm just gonna be very careful. There should be enough brine to fill both of these to the rim. And if you packed your cauliflower properly, it shouldn't float. I just like to put the lids on relatively loosely at first so that these can cool. And then once they come down to room temperature, stick them in the fridge in about five days or so, you have pickles. How long do they last? As long as you let them last, but <laughs> usually no more than like three to four weeks in the fridge and you're good to go. So go make some cauliflower pickles and enjoy them. And if you have questions or comments below, or you have a favorite cauliflower pickle recipe that you want us to know about, let us know in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.